we're talking. Aliens and the electromagnetic spectrum. After reading this document, there should be no question at all in your mind that there are intelligences that can manipulate or materialize any kind of object into our dimension. Let's talk, let's take a look for a second at the electromagnetic spectrum. As you know, our visual spectrum only makes up a small portion of the whole. Look at what spectrum are involved with UFO. UFOs. Ultraviolet spectrum, blue spectrum, UFO entry fields, science spectrum, green spectrum, UFO is visible, yellow spectrum, UFO is in vulnerable status, red spectrum, magenta spectrum, infrared spectrum, UFO is departing, heat spectrum, UFO field, radio spectrum. If you will relate these two cases that you are familiar with as far as appearances, a spectrum shift when it, when it fly, when in fly, I said that you will see the applicability of the above diagram. Well, that is correct. That part is correct. For what I have seen in my research, they manipulate the electromagnetic realm <clears throat> or spectrum. They can be invisible and they're there, but with an optical device that has a wide spectrum uh, detection, if possible to see them in, in, in all those phases. Case in point, the STS-75 again, where the terror incident, the space shuttle, the guy had an ultra, uh, extreme ultraviolet camera, and that's how he captured all those thousands of UFOs that appear and start going around the, the, the terror which was in reality a device that was measuring a, not only gravitational field but the electromagnetic uh, field around Earth. And that, that really got them very interested in that, in those two satellites tied by the tether, which I am sure they're the ones that broke it off to be able to inspect it, to see how much we knew about that, that technology, which in reality is where they move around and they, they're only visible when they lower the vibrational uh, frequency. <clears throat> so in that regard, David Zurida, physicist, is correct when he talk about how they are able to transfer their ships from one place in the universe to another in zero point zero time. All they do is move through frequencies. That's it. They use the galaxy clock exactly as he explained it. He theorizes, but in reality, that's exactly what is going on. That man is really intelligent. Davis Rida. The documentary that he made, From Here to Andromeda, is just a, a, an old uh, documentary, but really, he, that man, the... Anybody that watches those videos that he made, immediately we know how this man is, is so good at uh, reasoning. Check it out, it's biological scanner. This is a scanner used by the aliens. 
Oh, this is uh, an alien uh, artifact used at mutilations. And that's how they create those cavities in, with such a precision. The scanner is used to fulfill determination of general medical condition of life form by sensing body emanation in emission group of alpha, beta, gamma, kirlian, theta, and next extreme infrared rays and X rays, OBS. Field Magic Medicine, Advanced Diagnosis pro Practice, Report for Scale, Calibration, and Current Interpretation of Readings. Overall length, my God, is so tiny, 6 centimeters. Maximum diameter, 3 centimeters. It's tiny, my goodness. And that is a complex freaking piece of device. This is used by the symbol, it's used by the grace, Sita reticular two type, type two grace. The scientists, there's two type of grace, the type two are scientists. Wow. Rotating scanning, reading diet and creep from bottom to top, from bottom to top, life form type, select scale, ground, plane, screen, mesh, screen, select range, different kinds of life form. Consists of two parts. Part number one is the scanner here, which you use to active, act, to activate the device by rotating the scanner head, which is enclosed in a microchip mesh sensor network. This will activate the unit. Part number two is the main body that interprets signal receiver and converts them into an audio readout, which is programmable by twisting the scanner head to the desired position. Like I said, this document has some really good information in some part, but in others it's vague and it could be a, a bullshit type thing. I mean, this guy is revealing things that are deep and I doubt that the government knowing this will allow this to be presented freely in the internet. I don't know about that. I mean, it's really entertaining and give you a very much possibility of things but when it comes to all those races and all these historical deals that they put out about the tunnels and stuff well, we know about that I mean there are things there that it's just impossible to corroborate Unless you know somebody that has been directly involved in it, we don't know. This is just, you know, like I say, take it with a pound of salt, not just a grain of salt, but a pound of it. And drink a lot of water because you're going to get thirsty. A regular physician must undergo extensive training before being able to read precise information out of the sound emitted by the scanner, and there is no simple method allowing the layman to do the same. So what well, this guy is really telling you that you have to be a real expert and knowledgeable of that technology and if you're not, you must be a 
a cyborg that transmit the information to a, a, a the real deal somewhere up in a craft that is reading through you the entity that's doing the 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 reading with the device. The spray applicator, the spray applicator is mostly in the case of pencil or epidermal drugs employed by the press in the major axis of the unit between the thumb and forefinger. Although it is capable of dispensing a variety of liquid foams and gel, it is normally pressurized for field use with an organically based flesh color compound that acts as a coagulant to stop the flow of blood as well as an antibiotic to protect against infections. My local anesthetic deadens pain in the affected area. The applicator cons contains about five. So what they do in this shit, the animal is fully alive. Oh my God, this is terrible. I'm thinking about the men that they sucked out the organ through a, a quarter size hole in the armpit. Oh, that sounds so terrible. The autopsy revealed the guy had a, a heart attack from the pain. Well, he was fully aware of when, when was that was being done, probably by a robot, because I doubt that somebody Unless it's one of these cyborg entities that have no feelings and will do cruel and extreme painful things to another living form without feeling a, a, a single thing. Feel really to use low power scan is not affected to diagnose a patient condition like a species that might possess tick epidermis. It transmits life reading from a sensor head to four depending on the light which indicate through the intensity of period the following green, heart rate, red, pulse rate, blue, body temperature, yellow, blood pressure. So a crocodile, they couldn't do that with a crocodile. The skin is too thick. Or an elephant. I'm strong, you are incredible. I give pencil in the car, right? Converging laser beam for, for a very precise subcutaneous incision. A skin grafting laser. to use to heal external wounds by closing se severed sever blood vessels and nerve endings while stimulating the victim's anabolism, constructive metabolism and regeneration of tissue. That might be how they do the implanting in their brain and other places without leaving an orifice or scar or nothing. So it's only with that kind of technology that you can remove those implants and we don't have it. The military might. They have found so much here in crashes that even though this guy is describing everything how to use it and everything. It's just not saying how it's built. I can make up bullshit too. A device that produces a light that can electronically separate the atoms of, you know, the skin, match the skin atoms vibrating at the same frequency and create an opening without creating cut. It's just expanding the gap in between the atoms 